Are you curious to know if your dog is pregnant? In this video, I'm going to show you two sisters, same litter, same age, one is pregnant, one is not. This little girl, look at how cute she is. This is Honeybee and this is Sweetie. Can you guess just from their behavior which one is likely pregnant? So this is Honeybee and this is Sweet Tea. Again, they're full sisters from the same litter. They are the same age. This is a Schnauzer, they're both Schnauzers. And Honeybee is in a Schnauzer cut and Sweet Tea is in a teddy bear cut. So sometimes people tell me that they are not related or they are not sisters, but that's just because they're looking at their haircuts as opposed to the actual dog itself. But if you look really closely at them, you can begin to see, okay, yes, they are sisters. So first I'm going to show you this little girl. And here's what you're looking for when you're trying to determine, is my dog pregnant? This is about uh, three weeks in. And notice here with her, the nipple size, and, oh, by the way, she's already gotten up and gone over to rest. I think the behavior pattern that you're seeing here is very indicative. She's ready to play. She wants to play fetch. She's constantly going out and doing things like she normally is. But here we go. Now let me show you this little girl. So hopefully you can see here that her nipples are quite pink. They've gotten enlarged. And now for those of you who are um, uncomfortable with some sex talk here, let me uh, give you a little warning about what's coming next. I'm gonna show you these two right next to each other. So we've got pink nipples. And when you feel her vulva, what you notice is it's enlarged and it's flexible, it's very pliable. Whereas when you look at her sister, no pink nipples and her little vulva is hard, tight. It is not at all um, loose and flexible in the way that Sweet Tea's is. So I will be taking Sweet Tea in for an ultrasound here in just a little bit and we will be finding out if my prediction that she is pregnant is correct, and potentially we might even find out how many puppies is Sweet Tea having. But behaviorally, all Sweet Tea wants to do right now is rest and relax while her sister is constantly looking for someone to play with and roughhousing. So the play and the roughhousing will go on right now for Honeybee and Sweet Tea will take a nap. Just couldn't resist adding on a little bit more here because you can see Honey Bee is just nonstop play, like Sweet Tea normally is. But after my little demo and such showing you their nipples and their vulva, this will go on for hours with her playing like this while Sweet Tea is napping. About two weeks after I bred Sweet Tea, I also bred Liberty. So let me show you what mm, potentially two weeks later or earlier in the cycle looks like. So here we go. I want you to notice the pink little nipples and that they are enlarged. They're not little tight against the belly kind of nipples. They're bigger, pinker, and then also her vulva is very flexible, loose, not tight at all. Let me show you a dog about the same age, again, as a comparison so you can see. It's somewhat harder to see here because of the color of her coat, but these little nipples are hardly obvious at all and her little vulva is just um, very tiny and um, there's no elasticity in it, it's, it's firm. So this is a dog that is definitely not pregnant. 
where this is a dog that there is good potential. Like her body thinks she's pregnant. She had a tie. So her body is saying, yes, we'll find out today from the ultrasound what the reality is. It's somewhat harder to see here because of the color of her coat, but these little nipples are hardly obvious at all. And her little vulva is just um, very tiny and um, there's no elasticity in it. It's, it's firm. So this is a dog that is definitely not pregnant, where this is a dog that there is good potential, like her body thinks she's pregnant. She had a tie. So her body is saying, yes, we'll find out today from the ultrasound what the reality is. Hey, Penny. We're waiting for Dr. Newton, who's going to see these little girls. Yeah, we'll be having an ultrasound very soon. Look at those beautiful blue eyes. Yes. So here's Liberty being uh, ultrasound, and uh, I understand she is pregnant. Woohoo! Good job. Yeah, there's my child right there. <laughs> okay. That little D dot yeah. in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> They're apparently waving at us, but we've seen two so far for Little Miss Liberty. Sweetie is most definitely pregnant. Now the question is, how many do we see? Sweetie is most definitely pregnant. Now the question is, how many do we see? This is so exciting being here and watching their little tiny things. Yeah. <clears throat> so Sweet Tea is apparently having seven. six, but maybe what? seven. Oh my goodness, I've never had a litter that big, Sweet Tea. <laughs> wow. They look nice and healthy placentation. They all look pretty. Like, what, so I'm hearing bad. everybody looks really healthy. Woohoo! That's great, Sweet And so tea. next is Penny up, and Jan is Penny's guardian mom, and she came along today to help me. And um, we're going to see how many is Penny having. And so, Penny, we can see two already. You're getting a belly rub. You're getting a belly rub. Belly rubs for Penny. What a good girl. The most important thing. So it looks like three puppies for Penny. Great. Who's excited that we're having puppies? Are you excited, sweet tea? I know Grace is very excited. Yes. How about you, Bogey? You feeling excited that we're having some new puppies? Lots of puppies to play with. Sweet Tea and Penny are due in early August. About two weeks later, Liberty is due. Miss Liberty, yes. And about two weeks after that, Miss Coco might be having puppies too. So we'll be taking Coco in for an ultrasound shortly. But my goodness, we're going to have a fun August, September, October. And who knows, for those who want to stay for puppy prep school, they will be October, November, maybe early December-ish. So lots of fun happening here with Sock and Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers.